Let's start, though, with Ed talking about the uh, the response to the COVID-19 positive test, which we found out over the weekend. Some 30-some-odd LSU players in quarantine after testing positive or being in contact with someone that did test positive. Here's what Coach O had to say, uh, his response to that news. we got to give Scott Wilbert uh, a lot of credit, man. He was very well prepared. Uh, Shelly and uh, Jack. Those guys were very well prepared by a team to come in. Obviously, stuff's going to happen. Uh, I think that our team is getting the best care they possibly can. Uh, this is uh, the new lay of the land. It's something that we have to work through. I think our guys are doing a very good job of adjusting, and we should be fine. You know what, for me, stood out the most listening to Ed say that? There's no panic. The And, and that's, maybe that, that should be what we expect, but... You know, as we've talked about here, the the perception and the reality aren't completely mapping together. And what you heard Ed Ogeron say there is, we expected this. It wasn't a surprise. We have a plan in place. Our guys are getting the best medical care, and we're going to carry on and continue on. And I think that's reassuring. And my hope is, sincerely that that is the the message that more people start to understand and accept instead of marrying yourself to this idea that positive tests are the be-all, end-all and, and a sign that the season won't happen. Uh, this information is from the World Health Organization. In the United States, if you look at how um, you know the, the total confirmed... Uh, deaths have mapped in the United States, if you look at the last 40 days, the line is completely flattened. You had this huge spike, and the the line is flattened. You're still seeing confirmed cases. It's a virus. You're going to have, as long as you're testing, you're going to have confirmed cases. Influenza's been around for 100 years. It's a virus. You can't get rid of it. So you're going to have confirmed cases. The key is are you protecting the people who are most at risk? And the actions we have collectively taken as a society have helped that, which is why you've seen over the last 40, 50 days, Paul, can you show that again, please? That curve that went sharply up and then has flattened for more than 40 days now as far as, as the mortality rate because we're doing what we're supposed to be doing right now, which is... If you're sick, you stay at home. If you're at risk, you stay at home. You know, if you have any symptoms, you're mindful of that. We're, we're doing the right things to make sure those who are most at risk are protected. And that's the best thing to do. It, the, the big deal isn't, are we seeing more confirmed cases? Of course we're going to see confirmed cases. It's a virus. But confirmed cases in 18, 19, 20, 21-year-olds that are going to be asymptomatic or just show mild symptoms... You can deal with that. And that's, I think, why you didn't get a ton of panic there from Ed Ogeron. He understands that. Now, something else Ed also talked about is what the entire athletic department is doing in, in this. Because it's not just football. It's all the sports that are trying to move back onto campus and how they're managing all this right now. We have a meeting. We had Zoom meetings last night uh, with all our team. We had a leadership council meeting yesterday. We had a freshman meeting. We had a team meeting. Uh, Shelly was in there. Uh, Mickey was in there. Uh, we have a, a, a staff meet today with uh, all the staffs. All, I mean, all the head coaches on the staff. So we're in constant communication of what's going on. Obviously, it's ever changing, but there's information all the time. And again, I let the medical people take care of this. They've done a great job. Even though we're in an unprecedented situation, and even though you may not be hearing publicly from LSU leadership every day, the thing that's reassuring there is that he said we're constantly in meetings. The athletic department, the football program, all the head coaches, they're in meetings every day to talk about protocols and practices and everything to make sure that the student athletes are in the best situation possible. Now, the other side of that, of course, is the player's responsibility. We know that these players that tested positive were in Tigerland. That's how they were able to, to do the contact tracing to connect them to the virus. So, Ed Ogeron talked about his team and the responsibility of these players. 
for the most part, we've got 85, 90% of our guys, man, they're cruising along, they're working hard, doing the right thing. We just got to get everybody on the same page, everybody, everybody rolling on the same side of the boat. We, we're going to be fine. I do, I do believe this team has got great leadership. I do believe we're, we're handling this as, as well as anybody in the country. I think that uh, our focus is on school, uh, get better, getting in good condition in football. Ed Ogeron, again, uh, on Off the Bench with Jordy and T-Bob. If you want to go listen to that full interview, you can do it at 1045ESPN.com. On demand, click Off the Bench, and you'll see today's interview with uh, Coach O with the guys. A bit later in the show, we'll circle back and talk about what Ed Ogeron had to say with respect to what's happening on the field right now and, and the schedule ahead. As we found out last week, the NCAA approved that sort of six-week ramp-up period toward the start of the season so what Ed Ogeron did say today is they know they'll start July 24th. They'll have about a two-week period. Camp will begin August the 7th, and then that'll be sort of that traditional two-week camp period, which will follow the the start of, of the, the season, getting ready for the opener against UTSA and beyond. So all things considered, LSU was faced with what looked like and appeared to be a very negative headline over the weekend with the number of positive uh, cases. But as we said over and over again, it's not the number of positive cases that matters. You're going to have positive cases. If you want to eliminate that headline, stop testing. But you have to test and you have to have these numbers because that's what epidemiologists need because the more information they have about the virus, the better we'll all be in preventing against it. So don't be spooked by the number of positive t t cases. That's, that is inevitable. It's more, are we protecting the people who need to be protected in our society? And overwhelmingly... The answer to that question is yes. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.